Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord God, I thank you so much for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints being in my life. Getting me to repent, getting me to think about the things of God constantly, endlessly. Help me, Lord, to defend this faith, this wonderful church and this wonderful style of life to correct it if it's wrong, to merge it with higher levels of truth as you give it to me. Please, Lord, help this video recording not sound too arrogant. Let it be spirit-filled. Help me, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. I would like to give a talk today on the friendship of Jesus Christ. I have it memorized, so I'm not going to say anything that I'll regret too much. But if you all hate something that I said, I will regret it. Even though at this point in time I think it's true. If I'm at a Bible study, and I interpret a scripture a certain way. Let's just say there's 10 people in the room. And nine, all nine are like, no, that's a horrible interpretation. All nine? I'm probably going to change my views. Even if I'm passionately in love with my view of that passage, there's something about nine brothers, nine out of nine, refuting me, rebuking me. And I don't want to be so arrogant that I believe my own doctrine more than the entire church. So if the entire church rebukes me, I'll repent. Also, please... Don't tell me this is a great talk. Don't tell me I love what you said here. Keep it to yourself. But if I say something that's wrong, please don't keep it to yourself. Please tell me. Let's pray once more. Then I'll give you a memorized talk. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, please help me preach like this is the last sermon I will ever preach. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. First Nephi chapter 14 verse 10 There are saved be two churches only the church of the Lamb of God and the church of the devil David A. Bednar once said not all of our members are converted not all of our members are Christian not all of our members are members of the church of the Lamb of God 100% of the members of the church of the Lamb of God our friends with Jesus Christ and 100% of the friends of Jesus Christ are members of the Church of the Lamb of God. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. The word loved comes from the Greek word agape or agape which means 
action. Unconditional action love. This love deserves a sermon of its own, or many sermons. The power of God's unconditional love. The density, the depths. I could talk a long time about it. It scales with God's love and God's character. It's so amazing. But this talk is on the friendship of God, so I will not be talking about the unconditional love of God today. I'll be talking about a different kind of love. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. The word loveth comes from the Greek word philio, which means friendship. The friendship love of God. The friendship love of Christ. This is an exclusive love. It belongs only to the friends of Jesus Christ. The post-baptismal, the post-repentant, the post those who believe, those who are friends of God. Revelation chapter 3, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 11. Do not despise the disciplining of the Lord. Whom the Lord loves, he corrects. When I was young, I found myself on a bed with a girl. She took my right hand and pressed it against her left breast. I was a friend of God at the time, so I felt guilty, embarrassed, and ashamed. I felt like I'd done something wrong. I felt like I sinned, and I did. She tried to have sex with me. Many girls have tried. All girls have failed. The next day, I didn't feel very good. The next morning, I didn't feel very good. God's love, God's grace, God's peace, God's mercy, God's kindness, God's love was upon me. Right? Wrong. Instead, I had God's love in the form of his discipline. God's anger, God's wrath, God's divine disappointment. I cried and I wept for 30 minutes straight. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop weeping over my sin. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If you don't have a negative relationship with sin, you don't have a positive relationship with God. On contrast to my story, let's use hypothetical name, hypothetical situation, hypothetical name. Let's use Justin. Justin is an evangelical Christian. He believes in Jesus Christ. He believes that Jesus Christ came to earth, died on a cross, and rose again three days later. He believes... He believes. He believes that he believes. And if you ask Justin, do you love Jesus Christ? He would say... Yes. 
Justin is also a practicing fornicator. He has sex with many, 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 many girls. And guess what? God doesn't even seem to care. Why doesn't God seem to care? Because Justin is not a friend of Jesus Christ. And because he's not a friend of Jesus Christ, he's not a member of the Church of the Lamb of God. And because he's not a member of the Church of the Lamb of God, he is a member of the Church of the Devil. There are, save it be, two churches only. The Church of the Lamb of God and the Church of the Devil. And 100% of the members of the Church of the Lamb of God are friends with Jesus Christ. And 100% of the friends of Jesus Christ have the discipline of the Lord. And those who have the discipline of the Lord cannot fornicate and get away with it. How many Justins do we have in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? One million, two million, three million, seven million? I don't know. The Lord hasn't given me the exact number, but it's more than four million. Not all of our members are converted. Not all of our members are Christian. Not all of our members are members of the Church of the Lamb of God. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. And there will be many, 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 many members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who come before me and say stuff like, But Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? But Lord, all of my patriarchal blessings came to pass. And Lord, did I not cast out devils in your name? And with your priesthood perform many a mighty healings. And Lord, did I not join the one true church on earth? It's called the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But Lord, did we not put forth a many a mighty works? Do we not serve a mission for two years? Did we not serve as a bishop for five years, Lord? I got the virgin oil. You gave me ten minas. I got you forty more. Why don't I get the fatty cow? And then I will say unto you, depart from me, I never knew you. We were never friends, workers of iniquity. You who get divorced, you who don't forgive, you who are addicted to... Matthew chapter 6, verse 15. But if ye forgive not others of their trespasses, neither will God forgive you of your trespasses. Malachi chapter 2, verse 16. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I hate divorce. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. Neither idolaters, nor fornicators, nor homosexuals shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. It's not just about being a good person. It's about be it's about being it's about being it's about being a friend of God. Please be a friend of God. Don't depart from me, I know you. Ye who worketh not iniquity. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 24. Let he who boasts boast in this that he knows me. James chapter 2 verse 23. Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven... The will of the Father who is in heaven is not to believe in Jesus Christ. It's not to believe in Christ and have works. 
Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. It's not about believing in Christ. James chapter 2, verse 19. You believe there's one God that's good. Even the demons believe. Matthew chapter 7, verse 22. Works will not save thee. So if the will of the Father is not superficial belief, and if the will of the Father is not superficial belief plus works to justify the belief, what is the will of the Father who is the heaven? Matthew chapter 7, verse 23. Depart from me, I never knew you. Workers of iniquity. Matthew chapter 7, verse 23. Don't depart from me. We're friends. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. The will of the Father who is in heaven is to be a friend of Jesus Christ. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, I just pray for everyone in this room that we may get to know you and get to know you better. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.